is like sort of binge eating and overeating and it's very common especially Tuesday. Today is September 6th and we are eight days out from Olympia. I'm not doing any special Olympia cut. I am reverse dieting but I felt like I just needed to mention that just because I feel like a lot of people are doing a little bit of mini cuts for Olympia. Anyways, I'm feeling super good this morning. I was feeling really, really good after my refeed. I refeed on Sunday and Monday morning I woke up feeling really good. I was bumming it and slumming it all day yesterday so I was like I'm not being up the camera. I had a lot of work to do but I did want to show you guys a little bit of physique update and weight stayed exactly the same so I'm still only one pound up from my stage weight and I am feeling pretty awesome so I just wanted to sort of introduce today I have a lot of work to do today I have a lot of new products I'm working on and it's a gorgeous Tuesday in September I'm not actually sure the temperature I haven't actually walked outside and the temperature is like we're sort of transitioning into fall which is kind of a bummer but because I don't do well with the cold anyways I just want to start off today. Happy Tuesday and let's get this day going. Alright guys, so Jess Jess just got home from her first day of school. How was your first day of school? Bad, really bad. <laughs> She's back on that school grind and she is a super senior, so it's her sixth year of high school. So what she does is she goes to a job part of the day and then she goes yeah. to a school part of the day. She hasn't start, started I do. I do jobs at nine and then I come back at one because I know it's my last year and I come back at 1.15 and one somewhere between there and then I go to my last period of class and it's only one class I don't have gym yeah well gym class is not really class. so she's got like a block scheduling now and they give you like an hour of lunch it's which, an hour it's just like a crazy schedule like when I went to that high school like I had block scheduling I don't really understand it too well but she made it through her first day of school and I just worked on some of my work. I went to school and picked up a textbook and then I went to Starbucks because I gotta caffeinate myself. I wish I was home. Yeah. So being in school, yeah. school sucks. <laughs> the motivation to get done school. This is the motivation for you guys. Motivation to get through school. All right, well I just wanted her to share her first day experience. <laughs> And we're gonna eat lunch pretty soon, hit the gym, and train some legs. So we're gonna do all of that. Oh, speaking about my snack, it was really good. The Reese cups, so good. Oh, well, I'll show you that. I guys. tracked it. I tracked during lunch, and everybody was like, looking at me like, why are you tracking your food? Because you got gold. Oh, that's why you track your food. <laughs> yeah, I took I took Reese cups. It was so good. Yeah. Well, I'll show you guys the Reese cups we got. They're like. Um, 
healthy Reese cups and she loves them. My How mom many loves are you them. supposed to have to serve? Two. Oh yeah, I took two. I didn't take one. I took two. I was getting nervous. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you guys pretty soon. Time and I feel like redundant with my lunch, but I'm having my normal salad with sweet potato, ketchup, ground turkey, and beautiful bowl of health. So I absolutely love it. And I'm not and whenever I get tired of it, I'll change it. But right now I'm not tired of it. I crave it, it's a lot of volume, so why not? And this will be my pre-workout meal. So it is gym time and I am wearing a gym shark tank top. Gymshark leggings and just like with some white shoes. So it's a black and white kind of day. It's leg day. I am so excited. My mom's going to the gym. My sister's going to the gym. Everybody's getting their fitness on. Like it's a great day. So I'm really excited and really proud. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Today's workout, we are starting off with sumo deadlifts. I did conventional deadlifts on Friday. I didn't do, I did stiff legs on Sunday. So today is sumo deadlifts. So we're gonna get right into it. Girl, I know you, know you. 
But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world We're the perfect team You're my dream and I just want it If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. And when you're not here, and she's on. Ready to go do the bike? Yeah. The bike's her favorite, so we're gonna do 45 minutes of hit cardio on the bike. Um, that room is super dark and super psychedelic with all these black lights, so I can't video in there obviously, but we're gonna get it done. Doing it now. <laughs> this workout, I'm having some greens, mushrooms, hummus, and Icon Meals Red Velvet Protein Cake Balls. It's probably been like three or four months since I've had them, so I'm so excited they're back in my life. I have enough macros for them, so. And my family is over here eating their dinner. So they're eating their dinner while we're eating our like post-workout meal and I have one more meal and then dessert. But yeah, <laughs> good workout, excited to eat. All right, so for dessert tonight here, we have protein ice cream, blueberry tiny toast cereal, Icon Meals peanut butter vanilla popcorn, and at the bottom is almond butter, of course, and a little bit of the cookie dough from the Lion's Choice, I really like that. So that is today's dessert. Hey guys, so the lighting at night can get pretty weird sometimes and I apologize for that. This was normally why I film during the day. But anyways, I was just talking to one of my clients and she was telling me the fact that she struggles with just like sort of binge eating and overeating and it's very common especially with the people that I've worked with and I do my best to help them work through it and a lot of them have some really great breakthroughs and we really talk through it and get a game plan going and I see a lot of people have a positive outcome from the fact just talking this through. So I was basically explaining to her the fact that when I switched to macros, it completely changed me. So it changed my way I looked at food and it changed the way that I was dieting, obviously, because I was following a macronutrient intake instead of a meal plan. And I told her that if there's something that you can eat every day that just helps satisfy a craving, that will help you be consistent. So if, the, if you can eat one thing every day, like for me, it's a dessert every day. That helps me stay consistent. If you need a dessert every day, fit in a dessert every single day, and that will help you be consistent towards your goals. And it will cause you not to want to overeat because you are eating something every day that helps satisfy that craving, that urge to cause you to overeat or to binge. And that's why I totally, 100%, without a doubt, always recommend doing macros. And that I just feel like that was sort of really helpful to her and she really appreciated the motivational talk. So I'm really excited to see like how she continues to progress and we took a positive approach on it because whatever done is done, whatever damage is done is, is done, the only way to make, move is forward. Sorry about my nerves are like getting doubled up. It's like 12.30 a.m. But just being like totally real and honest, you can't beat yourself up for what already happened. You have to just keep moving forward and you have to create a plan for success and just be consistent with it. There's no rocket science to it. It's just be consistent and find a way, a method that works for you in order to keep you going and not have those really deep setbacks. So hopefully that maybe was a little bit helpful for you guys. I'm gonna get some sleep now. It is like almost, we're getting to 1 a.m. at this point. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.